to the middleweight amateur division here. Chris Jackson from Steel to Evolution Sub-Alliance fighting out of the red corner. The black trunks trimmed with gray as he takes on AVT's Joe Ambler fighting out of the blue corner. Black trunks, the MJP on the front. Touch gloves and... And we're straight to it. There's no feeling out here. No, but you saw the look that... It that Jackson gave Ambler when he walked into the cage. Yeah. Gave him that look that says, mm. You see, I thought he was just trying to play to his walkout music. Hey, well, best, walk, <laughs> best walkout track of the night so far. A little bit of motorhead always goes, always goes a long way. Oh, he does. As you can see, it's Ambler in control right now. Jackson just looking to scramble back to his feet using the fence. But Ambler is back on that takedown. But not without taking a little bit of punishment to the temp to the temples. No. Got to be careful of those butterflies. Yeah, they could launch you backwards in a hurry or sweep you over side to side. Uh, you think training up, AVT? You think training with AVT and the likes of Danny, Danny Mitchell, Jay Furness, some of the yeah. These guys know a lot of the tricks of the trade. Yeah, they've probably been over it once or twice. Yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to see Jackson focus on getting up or attacking some kind of, you know, some kind of position more, other than settling just to throw shots from the bottom. As you say that, throws up. Tries to get the arm. It's out. That yeah, elbow's well, out. Yeah. You know what? Great attempt. Nothing ventured, nothing mm -hmm. gained. Exactly. Except you're in a pretty bad position. If you got every submission first time, it wouldn't be called an attempt. Yeah. And again, got the got the new shield yeah. in. Yeah, really, really sneaky, oh. just regaining that guard. Nice though. Yeah. Amber kneeling on that, taking mm -hmm. that hand away. That is uh and those big gloves, they they help with that. Yeah. They, they're like little anchors, you can't get them out. <laughs> So now Jackson having to work from inside. Sorry, trying to work from his back, closing up that guard. And Ambler just back to that, you know, pressure on top. Yeah, well, body, body, head's been around for as long as the sport's been around, hasn't Exactly, it? you know, TOT's made it famous. Um, that TOT's ground and pound yeah. from the guard. And people are starting to realize that, you know, it worked in the past. Hey, maybe it still works now when it, you know, it comes around in swings and, you know, it's like fashion trends. Joe Ambler there, as we were talking, kept smothering Jackson, putting the glove over oh. the face, open the mouth. I mean, again, that's... It's all legal. Well, absolutely. It's all legal. Distort someone's breathing. If they're breathing out of the mouth, it means they need to breathe out of the mouth. Cover that mouth. <laughs> Make them panic. I mean, it might be up there, you know, with wrist locks and foot stomps, but it all works. Hey, it's all allowed. It's all allowed. <laughs> now, it came out quick, did Jackson. He did. But Ambler just kind of sucked up the pressure, mm. and the round was his. Yeah. What are you telling the man in the, in the red corner now? What are you telling Jackson? Because, you know, you were aggressive. Yeah. Too you much basically, so? you ran into a trap. You, you did. You ran into your own takedown, essentially. Um, I'd say, you know, you clearly want to strike. Again, just test the waters. A lot of fighters, it takes them a while to develop that. There's not just forward and back. No, okay, there's side to side as well. There's diagonally side to side and diagonally back, you yeah. know. Just don't commit. Just tag, tag, tag. But don't commit. When you commit, that's when he's going to drop down. He's going to look for that takedown because now he's tasted success in that first round. Okay. 
you know, it, it, again, it, you know, it's it's funny as you started to t to try to break it down. It, it, I looked at the card, and it just reminds you that these guys are like two fights into their I careers. Know. Like when expecting yeah, more like, trouble. Like, oh, oh, that one landed flush. goes forward with a flurry of punches, and he puts Jackson on his heels. In on the takedown again, underneath. Pops the hips out and steps over. And again, that, that double over. We've not seen that double over takedown defense really pay dividends tonight. Um, I prefer a good old, like, you know, whizzer and C grip on the neck or a double under. Saying that, he just flipped him over with that, but yeah, you're going to burn your arms out that way. Um, and Ambler just rolled with it. Yeah, that's just rolled, it. let the momentum take him, and then carried it on. Carried on. You know, he was he was having a bit of success for the few seconds that we were on our feet in this round. I'm just surprised that he, he perhaps not. The, you know, the first round he spent a lot of time in top position. It just seemed that m maybe a rush into the takedown a little quick, but yeah, yeah, definitely. He's, he's controlling. Be, yeah, I mean. George St. Pierre always said, path of least resistance. You know, you might be the better boxer than the boxer in front of you, but, you know, if you are supremely the better grappler, take him down. Yeah. Just take him down. You don't need to prove anything. Trying hard to get into the side control now is Joe Ambler, but moving round. Yeah, he's there. And, and this is one of the few times that he's managed to pass that guard of Jackson's. Jackson's had a very, very sneaky guard, being able to slide that knee shield back across. Butterflies regain guard. A proper wrestling position here now. If he can get that right hand free, you expect shots to stare. We go. There we are. As soon as that right hand got free, straight back to the seat belt, and then he'll break free again and and hammer again. There we go. Yep. That's it. Now, that, that, that's the problem with that reaching over. You are going to clip the back of the head unless you are side of the head down. Jackson just needs to... Right now, he needs to just explode to his feet. Ambler... Ambler's patient and smart. Oh, yeah. Throwing those shots in when he can. Ooh. Thought we had both butterfly hooks in for a moment. We're going to push off on the hips, but Ambler just kind of pushing through it now. And more and more yeah, of those shots is. are starting to land. And it's 10 seconds here, and given the damage that he's given already, he could quite easily get a stoppage if he carried on throwing. Just due well, to the volume. And yeah, just unanswered shots. But Jackson, no quick up to his feet. Yeah. A couple of deep breaths. You can see Mr. Neil Hall. One of the most experienced refs in the game, just having a chat with Jackson, saying, can you carry on? He's taken a... Is something possibly not quite right? Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm not sure I... The looking at his leg... Are they going to wave this one off? Well, a few more seconds to decide, because seconds, be seconds are going to be cleared yeah. in a moment. Yeah, get the, the final round. I can't tell whether they're looking down at his angle, ankle or his knee there, but there was definitely a conversation going on. It was directed towards the floor, so. Has, uh, has it taken the will to fight from Jackson, or is it going to make him like a, you know, a wounded, a wounded beast? Yeah. Is it a dangerous beast? Oh, nice knee to the ball. And, uh, you know, every time he, he, he looks to looks to get the clinch. Yeah. Everybody's got a puncher's chance on the feet. Yeah. Take that puncher's chance away from him. Well, back down in a position that Jackson is all too familiar with in this fight. Well, just looking at Jackson's face there, he looks deflated. He looks like he's, he's surviving right now. And that could be the injury, the possible injury that we've alluded to. Um, 
he just kind of like rolled his eyes a bit like there's nothing I can do here you know Ambler trying to pass has almost got full mount there it is in the full mount and he could slide out, slide out the back door here. He could. Well, uh, got the. Yeah. Just got the hook in. Gonna keep him honest. Fighting to get the second one in. There we go. Gonna sit back a little bit and land some shots. Saying he's just trying to book him off now, but he turns yeah, out nicely. Yeah. He stood, and it's not through lack of trying or anything. He's got all the heart in the world. Yeah, he's and he's getting up and he's fighting back. He's answering the ref's call. But it just seems like it's just a little bit too much for him this time around. Yeah, Amber just seems to have his number here again. Just the uncomfortable kneeling on the wrist, pinning that arm. Yeah. Naughty little movements, we call them. Naughty little movements. You wouldn't do it inspiring against your mates. No. But, you know, when you get in here, it's a different story. You've got to do what you can to win. Uh, side control for days. Gonna try and roll him. This ain't. No, gonna move to the other side. Perfect position for some more knees to the body. He says, hopefully. <laughs> I think he's content with what he's doing right now because he, he he's up on the judges' scorecards. He's got to be. I'm gonna have to have a word with Coach Jay Furness about the lack of knees to the body in this position, but. That's it. I mean, this is good control from Ambler. Not giving, not giving Jackson anything to work with at all. Ten seconds left in this one, and and Jackson just he's looking to survive right now. Could be one of the easiest decisions the judges have had tonight. Yeah, yeah. And I'm taking nothing away no, from Chris Jackson. No. Sometimes Tough. it's just where the fight goes. Uh, dominant performance from the AVT man, Joe Ambler. But a, you know, if there was a slight injury or something picked up yeah. at the end of that second round, fair play for Chris Jackson to come on out and just keep going. Oh, you're never going to take the fight away from Chris Jackson. You know, the, he is a fighter, but sometimes it can just do more damage than yes. good. And I mean, I can't say anything because if I was in that position, I'd be like, yeah, I'm coming yeah. out. Yeah. But then the outside looking in, you're like, how much more damage have you just done? Yeah, yeah like we alluded to earlier, AC, it looks like his knee tested it out in the cage and uh, he's straight out of there. I'm sure there's no disrespect, mate, but if I'm his corner yeah, man, coach, I'm saying you get to that doctor now. Straight to the doctor. Let's turn it over to our MC and he'll make this one official. <laughs> In the blue corner, Joe Amber. 